You want to get a server for Minecraft 1.21.9, The Copper Age, and we're going to show you how to do that in this video. First things first, you're going to want to download the server file. Now, you can go to the description down below and find the links to every single thing we talk about in this video, but we're also going to show you how to find most of the stuff via Google as well. So once you're here, go ahead and scroll down to the Download Minecraft button, and that will take you to the official download page. On Google, you can just search for Minecraft Server Download, hit enter and it will be this link here. Just make sure that it is the Java edition version because if you get the Bedrock edition version, it won't work. But once you're here, go ahead and click the Minecraft underscore server 1.21.9 link. That will then go ahead and start the download. You will need to keep or save this file here and the download will now begin. Now, one of the things I want to mention about the server we're starting in this video is it's going to be using your own computer's resources, meaning you need a pretty decent computer. You're also going to need a pretty good internet connection because it's using your internet as well. And because it's using your internet, it means this is only meant for your friends and family. Anyone who gets the IP address to this server can DDoS you, which is kind of like hit your internet offline, as well as find out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So for that reason, it's super important you keep this private. But what if you don't have to worry about any of that, the hardware and your computer? computer being good enough to run the server, your internet being good enough to run the server, or the security behind running a server. Well, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. At Simple Game Hosting, you can get a server up and running in minutes, quicker than you will when using this video even, and on top of that, you can customize it super easily with mod packs, mods, plugins, add anything you want to the game, in addition to just being able to play without any of those if you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to host a server going through this video and doing all that, start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Now we've got our Minecraft server file downloaded and what we want to do is make a new folder on our desktop. I'm going to name this Minecraft Copper Server because this is a server for the Copper Age and then what we want to do is find that server file. Move this server file into that folder on our desktop. Then when we open this up, we'll have that server.jar file. Now, you can double click this and it should go ahead and generate some files and folders. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, don't worry. You just need to get Java 21, which of course is linked down below. This is our in-depth guide on getting Java 21. You can simply Google the breakdown Java 21 guide and there will be a guide walking you through all of this, including this video guide here. You will also need to run the jar fix and that's gonna take the jar files like the server file you downloaded and link it back to Java. But first, you'll need to get Java. Then you'll run the jar fix and then you'll finally be able to double click that server.jar and get these files and folders. Open up the EULA file here and change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Then go ahead and click file, save, and it will save this file. And now when you double click the server.jar, your server is going to start. And what's really cool about this is there's actually some things we can do with this server now that we've kind of got all the files and folders and we can see that it is online here by seeing the done in the Minecraft server console. Speaking of the Minecraft server console, I'd recommend coming in here and typing op and then your username. What that's going to do is give you operator permissions, allowing you to use different commands and things like that in game. I also recommend going into the server.properties file here. Just because there's a lot of stuff that you can edit, just open this with notepad. And you can see you can do everything from change your difficulty and your game mode to even do stuff like change your view distance and simulation distance if you want to be able to see further in game. There's a lot you can do in here. Feel free to look through it and kind of pick and choose what you want to enable, disable, all of that stuff. Even hardcore mode is handled right here in this file. So make sure to save anything that you're done. And you will need to restart your server for those changes to take effect. To do that, just go ahead and type stop here, hit enter, it will close it out, and then double click that server.jar again to start the server yet again. Now, how do you actually join this? Well, let's open up Minecraft and I'll show you how to join your server. Now, you're the only person that can join your server this way, but let's go to multiplayer, add the server here, and we just want to name it Minecraft server, or you could even name it local server because you're the only person that can join it, like I said. For the server address, we can do local host, and then we're going to click done. That will resolve the server and we can double click to join this. We'll see us pop in here in the console and we will be good to go. Now, what if you want your friends to join? I'm guessing you probably do. Well, first I'd recommend running around here, making sure there's no lag, there's no issues, anything like that. Because if you're lagging and having issues with just you online, once you add more people to it, your friends, things like that, there's definitely going to be some lag. So make sure you're all good here. And if you are, you will need to port 
forward. Port forwarding is required for your friends to be able to join your Minecraft server. This is an in-depth guide that goes over everything you need to know to port forward your server to make sure it's online and joinable from your friends. All covered in a text guide, but most importantly, an in-depth video guide that we're most known for here. So go check this out linked into the description or just Google the breakdown how to port forward and this video and text guide will pop up. But with that being said, you now have a Minecraft server that you can play on with your friends. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but enjoy the server. We will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.